A very good and warm welcome to my all friends. Today we're going to talk about a new chapter in calculus that's called anti-derivative. Alright, after learning a very good concept of derivative, we are now ready to talk about anti-derivative. Uh, anti-derivative sometimes we say by another name also, uh, indefinite integral. Even some people say this anti-derivative or indefinite integral, they call by a name uh, a primitive, alright? Primitive. They all refer to the same thing. Uh, by the way, uh, whatever that by name you call, but I still consider even the same, you know. So, uh, anti-derivative, you know, from the name itself, it's very clear, you know. Anti-derivative, you know very well what is derivative, what does that mean, and uh, how to find the derivative of a function, and how to apply those things, you know, we all, all things we learned. And now, what is anti of derivative? What is opposite of derivative? What is reverse of derivative, you know? We're just going to talk about the reverse process of derivative, which is called actually integration that we're going to learn. All right. Uh, let, let me let me first tell you a little bit about the derivative. Then it is very easier to go to the anti-derivative. Right. So now uh, don't get bored uh, because I'm repeating again about the derivative may be helpful for you. All right. So let's say I have a function. Uh, let's say this is my function f of x. All right. Uh, for a while, at this point, let's say. Uh, we're going to find out the derivative of this function at this point. So we know that the derivative of this function at this point is just the 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 slope of the tangent at that point. All right, the slope at this point, you know, uh, of this tangent, you know, the slope of this 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 tangent, you know. Let's say this is theta. Uh, we don't have to discuss more about this. You know, if this is f of x, then derivative of f of x over d of x is f prime of x and the same thing we write as a dy over the dx also right and 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 the same thing is 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 tan tan of theta you know and that's we say slope i don't want to discuss more about this all right it's just a it's just a rate of change of the function at this particular uh, at this particular point you know when this delta x this delta x and delta y when this delta x tends to infinitely small almost tends to zero that time what is the rate of the change of the function at this particular point for a very 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 nano 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 size of this delta x that time you know when this delta x is seriously very 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 nano 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 wide that time what is the rate of change of this function that that is derivative right so as i have written here that f prime of x is the derivative of f of x so from here what do you understand that uh, the derivative of the function f of x is f prime of x all right so you have a function here it means you have a function here and uh, you have here derivative all right when you get the derivative of a function when you are doing differentiation all right I'm going to do I'm going to simply differentiate this function another process of derivation derivative to, the process of finding derivative is called differentiation so when you are going to differentiate dff e, uh, differentiation all right so when you are going to differentiate the function you are going to get the derivative uh, as I, as as i said here derivative of f of x is f prime of x let me take some real example derivative of 3x derivative of 3x is 3 that's very simple we know how to find the derivative all right so derivative of 3x is 3 here it means derivative of f of x is f prime of x now i'm gonna learn same thing a little differently f prime of x is derivative of f of x 3 is the derivative of 3x now let me think a little differently for a while i'm supposing i don't know about these two guys f of x and 3x i don't know these functions all right i know only the derivative f prime of x and an uh, example 3 so and now i'm asking you f prime of x is derivative of what you know f prime of x is derivative of what big what 3 is derivative of what what means here what is this representing you know means you find the differentiation of a function then you get derivative means you get derivative only when you differentiate a function so here is definitely certain function you know here is definitely certain function here must be another function whose derivative is 3 and we know very well here that the 3 is the derivative of 3x means the function is 3x here so if 
if f of x equals 3x, then f prime of x equals to 3. So here see, when f of x equals to 3, when, when a function you have, you get the derivative of that as a 3. So, so the process that tells you, that gives you that this derivative is the derivative of a function, this one, you know, that process which is going to tell you that these boys, these guys are the derivative of this, this, this bigger man. So that process is integration. Did you get what I mean to say? Means when you're going to uh, differentiate a function, you're going to get derivative. But if you don't know this function, then from derivative, from these stuffs, you need to find out the, those functions. All right. So that process from derivative to find out the function whose uh, derivative is uh, is those stuff all right is called integration that process is called integration or you can say anti-derivative anti-derivative all right so in a very short way what i'm telling uh that the functions differentiation is derivative and derivative integration is function so differentiation and integration is just the opposite process that's why these are called derivatives and these are called antiderivative. you know differentiation integration just opposite of each other just reverse order you might have some questions you might be asking me why I'm saying this primitive you know uh, the, the, the antiderivative process is, called, uh, is, is also called primitive why you know uh, let, let me tell you here uh, here I have a function 3 of x all right and when I'm going to differentiate this function 3 of x I'm going to get just 3 all right so this is derivative and this derivative I get after the differentiation after the differentiation of a function so this is this is the manufactured thing you know I, I put into into a process of let's say this is a function uh, let's say this is this is a, 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 a kind of machine uh, which always do the differentiation all right which always do the differentiation so when I'm putting here 3x then this lets out 3 all right so it's it's the cooked one all right Af after cooking it's the cooked one i mean after the manufacture i i get 3 in the machine of differentiation so what was the original one 3 it is here and it is here 3x so so what originally what at primitive level i put here so that i got here 3 as a derivative so that 3x is a function you know so whenever I'm going to put a function into the into the into the machine of differentiation, then I'm gonna get the derivative here. You know, you got it what I mean to say? Here you have a machine, you know. Here you have a machine called differentiation. And here is only two things. This is output, and output is derivative, and input, the input is your function. You got it? So when you're putting the function into the machine and differentiation, you're going to get the derivative. Alright? see the flow how it is flowing and now we have another machine you know in which now you have another machine an anti-derivative let's say anti-differentiation now you have another machine of anti-differentiation which works just in the opposite process of this if you have the derivative if you insert the derivative now if you're inserting the derivative you're going to get the function all right if you're inserting derivative you go, you are going to get the function so that's anti-differentiation or anti-derivative or integration okay i hope you understand it what i'm trying to say this manufactured derivative initially manufactured derivative small thing had actually came from the function you know some function so the process of integration the process of anti-derivative is giving us the original function from which we have we have we have got this derivative we have we have baked this derivative we have we had manufactured this derivative we had we had manufactured this derivative into the machine of and uh, in the into the machine of differentiation by using the raw material function by 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 uh, using this you know this original thing this primitive thing by this ancestor the ancestor is a function and from there we get the derivative did you get that it might sound very funny but integration is just the process of finding the ancestor of the derivative you know the process of finding ancestor is called integration ancestor of the derivative which is a function okay but now uh, ultimately this is going to give you the uh, the, the answer of the next question that you're going to ask me the question is all right 
why I'm saying indefinite integration again and again that time I was saying in indefinite integration hey this is indefinite integration why this is in indefinite integration why it's not definite the definite integration we're gonna learn later so I'm gonna give you the answer of the C you know into this machine of differentiation when my function I was inserting uh, I was inputting my function f of x equals to 3x then I was getting the outlet as a derivative 3 okay try to understand it and you know my one of my friend he put another function g of x and that function was 3x plus 5 and I don't know why this machine get uh, disturbed or out of service I don't know out of order but again this give the same product that I had got the 3 <laughs> you know the derivative of 3x or 3x plus 5 5 means the constant derivative of constant is 0 so derivative of 3x plus 5 or derivative of 3x is 3 only you know and now now you try it you said hey Anil brother let me try one more uh, let me let me give let me input something h of x equals to 3x plus you said 1000 abc all right these are constant and you again get the 3 so whether my friend is trying whether I'm trying whether you are trying with many different functions the final product in the machine of differentiation in the machine of differentiation is 3 so from here you cannot predict that 3 has been manufactured using h of x or using f of x or using g of x how can you can you say you're not sure that 3 is being manufactured using the using the product h of x f of x or g of x all right so you cannot say the 3 is the derivative of 3x plus 1000 abc or 3x simply or 3x plus 5 so it's not sure right because antiderivative is the process of finding an ancestor process of finding the original function from which uh, 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 from which we had got that derivative so simply by uh, finding the anti integration process you cannot be sure which function was that all right so that is why we say this is indefinite you know this is indefinite integration you're not sure all right and geometrically if you want to understand what is this indefinite integration then uh, let's say I have other functions also let's say let's say this is my function g of x all right uh, at this point and another another function let's say I have h of x all right this point and again let's say I have another function j of x all right and there are so many other functions all right all in this same vertical line I'm talking about this vertical line let's say they are pretty parallel all right in this 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 vertical region these are pretty parallel these are pretty parallel these are pretty parallel these are pretty parallel so these all are parallel it means this 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 all are parallel so this will be theta this will be theta this angle will be theta this angle will be theta so all of this tangent you know in the in the slope zx if I'm going to draw the uh, tangent at this point this will be like this 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 all the tangent have the same angle theta so all this you know a uh, of x uh, has the slope as m equals to tan theta this also h of x also has tan theta this also has tan theta g of x also has tan theta so all of them have the same slope though the different different function I do have all of them you know have the same derivative same derivative we have we have the same uh, slope of those all tangents but the functions were different so though the, the functions were different the derivative is same it means we cannot predict the the primitive we, we cannot predict the functions whose derivative we would you have so that's why we have we go by the word indefinite integration you know how I understood this antiderivative it may be a little funnier to you or uh, maybe somehow helpful for, to you let me tell you uh, uh, let's say uh, this is me uh, happy guy always <laughs> okay and I really have a pretty big hair okay this is me oh, all right don't laugh okay now you're going to differentiate my body okay so after differentiation of my body you're gonna get what guess it my body is very big and if you differentiate that then you you, you are going to a particular point at, at a very very small point what is the rate of change of my body you know what is the rate of change of my body that time you'll you'll find out a cell how my body is growing because I'm eating a lot you know <laughs> that time you'll get a very small cell let's say this is nucleus centrosome uh, vacuole and all stuff let's say this is cell I don't know how you pronounce C-E-L-L -L, cell and this is body so when you 
when you differentiate my body you get a cell but if you're going to integrate my cell then you're going to get my body did you get that differentiation of my body you'll get cell this is hundred percent sure this is hundred percent right but integration of my cell you'll get my body that's not hundred percent sure integration of my cell you may get my body you may get my arms you know you may get my hand because because uh, that cell may be the cell of my hand all right that that cell may be the cell of my 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 leg you know uh, I don't know how to make the leg all right that may be the that may be my leg you know that the cell may be uh, uh, from a tissue of my leg that cell may be from a tissue of my hand that cell may be from the tissue of my any body or 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 better I will say any organ you know it, it may be any organ you know from any organ if you if you differentiate any organ of my body you're gonna get the cell so just by looking this cell you cannot say that the cell I have got from my body or I have get from the hand part of my body or I had get from the leg part of my body or I had get from the organ any organ or liver or somewhere from somewhere I had got that cell so you cannot predict from where I get that cell all right so that is why you know it's called indefinite integration you know this this cell cannot predict from where exactly what is the primitive of this cell the primitive may be a uh, uh, muscle from my hand muscle from my heart muscle from my stomach muscle from any organ of my body so that is why you know in our language of uh, calculus uh, in, in in integration uh, we say if uh, f of x is a function and uh, a derivative of that function is f prime of x then integration of f prime of x is f of x for sure but plus some constant also because you're not sure that f prime of x the derivative of f of x or plus some constant because because derivative of f of x is f prime of x but derivative of f of x plus some constant plus some constant is also f prime of x because derivative of constant is zero so you're not sure for this this constant may be anything you know it's it's not sure it's just a you cannot predict what is that constant so it can be anything that is why you know we we, we write like this so a uh, very good example i'm telling you uh, this, this is a very simple example let's say i have a function f of x equals to uh, 2x square okay so f prime of x definitely that is 4x so now uh, the integration of 4x the integration of uh, f prime of x integration of f prime of x you said you should get f of x all right you should f of x means integration of 4x later i'll tell you uh, why i'm writing here this dx i'll tell you later about this in the next session it's getting very lengthier uh, you should get definitely 2x square but integration of 4x dx you may get 2x square uh, plus let's say 500 you know because derivative of 2x square plus 500 derivative of derivative of 2x square plus 500 you'll get 4x so so it's not fixed you know it's not fixed keep in mind that it may be 2x square plus uh, 2x square simply or 2x square plus something something you know so it's not fixed keep in mind so that's why we say it's indefinite integration later we'll come to know what is a definite integration where you know you'll, you'll see something here something here right more we're going to learn about the integration in the next session because the video is getting really really longer all right so i'll see you guys in the next video keep on watching and if there is any more confusion or doubt to ask me then please feel free to comment below this video i'll definitely be happy to uh, reply you back all right till the time you subscribe the channel like the video and then jump to the next video all right bye bye